Hello everyone, welcome back to Drama Fan. I love how the storyline of this drama gets straight to the point. When Youngwoo said that she liked Junho and Youngwoo who said directly to Tezumi that she was Wugwango's daughter. This scene is a very touching scene. Tezumi asks Youngwoo, do you resent me for what I've done? It seems Tezumi asks because she doesn't want to be hated by her child and she still loves Youngwoo's father. When Youngwoo told her that she was Wugwango's daughter, Tezumi looked very surprised and couldn't believe that Youngwoo was her daughter. After that she continued to look at Youngwoo with a guilty look. At that time she looks like a mother who regrets having left her child and her boyfriend. Plus, when she first met Youngwoo, she didn't distinguish between Youngwoo who had autism. She saw Youngwoo as a brilliant attorney. That's why she offers Youngwoo to work at her company. Tezumi also looks proud of Youngwoo when Youngwoo used what she told her, which is, there is nothing weaker than a human mind in the face of money. Also, she who still wants to give birth to Youngwoo and stays at home for nine months with the reason of studying abroad in the States, proves that she loves Wu Wango and believes that he can take good care of their daughter. Looks like Tezumi was also in the car when someone handed Youngwoo over to Wu Wango. When she gave birth to her child, she must have been sad because she couldn't raise her. That's why she said in an interview for a Ministry of Justice candidate that she has no intention of forcing her own son to walk the same path as her. Tezumi can't be with Wu Guango because of political reasons. Tezumi is the daughter of the founder of Tesson, and Wu Guango is the son of a poor farmer. This is what makes them unable to get married, where Tezumi's family must also tell her not to date Wu Guango. When Wu Guango asked this person about Tezumi's condition after giving birth to Yongwu, this person immediately replied, Don't ask anything about her. There'll be no need for you to contact each other ever again. And based on those words, it seems Tezumi made an agreement with her parents so that she can give birth to Yongwu. As Yongwu's father said, I've realized through experience that everything in life is political. Yongwu will get a new case, and her client is Bangupong. Yongwu will suddenly get this case, so when she wants to go to trial, she is just explained by Junho about the case. Before going inside, Junho will clean Yongwu's face because of her eyelashes. There is a Gurami voice that says, eyelashes. That means he really likes you. Doesn't it? It seems that at this time Yongwu and Junho are not dating yet, even Junho has not told Yongwu about his feelings yet. Only Yongwu herself had told Junho about her feelings. Junho seemed to know that Yongwu subtly closed her eyes when he wanted to take the eyelashes on her cheeks. It will remind him of the time the two of them were together in Prosecutor Jun's office. Since they were in public, Junho would only take the eyelashes and wouldn't kiss Yongwu. Back to the case of Mr. Bong, when the trial starts Yongwu will be surprised to hear his name and also his job. During the trial, Yongwu will ask him about his job. The judge will see Yongwu who is not ready for this trial and will continue the trial in the next few days. Mr. Bong seems to be sued by the kids' parents for bringing 12 elementary school kids to a nearby mountain. According to the students' parents, what Mr. Bong doing is very dangerous for their children. And these parents do not believe the words of their children who defend Mr. Bong. If they were brought there to play. However, Yongwu was curious about the real intention of why Mr. Bong brought those children to the mountain. While analyzing, Yongwu will talk a lot about Mr. Bong with Junho. Junho will be jealous because Yongwu keeps talking about Mr. Bong. It seems that Junho's jealousy indicates that he wants Yongwu to know about his feelings for Yongwu. And when he gets jealous, it seems Junho has confessed his feelings to Yongwu. Yongwu will be accompanied by Junho to ask the children's related to the case. She realized that the children really liked being brought to the mountain by Mr. Bong. Not only do they play, but they also get to enjoy and see nature, because today's children do not have the freedom as they used to, and they were asked to only focus on study by their parents. That's why he also said that his job was commander-in-chief of the Children's Liberation Army. He realized that these children needed freedom from their busy daily life even for a moment. So when they get older, they also can have wonderful childhood memories. This is done by Mr. Bong because he also used to go through that and didn't want these kids to go through the same thing as him. At the end Yongwu will win the case by explaining that the children understand. The only people who don't understand Mr. Bong are adults. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.